Okay, just on the back of the articles that I'm doing at the moment for um, for shooting times about sort of a bit of a guide for stalking, uh, primarily aimed at novices, but you know we're covering more experienced guys as well. Just to run through um, some of the kit that I'm using at the moment. Rifle is a Hanel Jaeger 10. Caliber is Creedmoor. Creedmoor's I think it's a really good all-round caliber. I'm a great fan of the 6.5s anyway, um, so this rifle kind of does the business. What I particularly like, I mean, I like a synthetic stock. I'm out in all weathers with clients, so I want something that's fairly easy to maintain, quite easy to dry. I don't get swelling if I'm out you know, on the, like you do on wood sometimes if you're out for a long time in really uh, wet conditions. So the synthetic stocks are good for me, but I particularly like a razorable cheek piece. That allows you to customise the rifle to your own fit, so you can get the rifle to fit right into your cheek. So not a lot of rifles have that feature. Very, very useful. I like that. Um, that's that's really dialed into me. Um, robust rifle, it's solid. It, it, it's been dropped by a client once out of a high seat and it's still working, so that's a testament to itself. Nice rifle, very, very comfortable, accurate out of the box. Uh, what I need as a professional stalker is something that will take a, you know, a bit of a hammer in. That's the rig that I'm currently using rifle-wise. Leopold scopes are relatively new to me. If I'm honest, I wasn't a great fan years ago. I didn't think the, the, the quality of the glass was just as good, but by heck, have they improved that massively over recent years. This is now an awesome piece of kit. This is the V6, very, very good in low light. I like it, use it all the time on row, and this time of year, as we're getting into the winter months now, a lot of the shooting you're doing is in poor weather conditions like this, so you very quickly lose the light today. So you will often be using them in low light conditions. So you need something that's got the you know quality glass. The other thing for somebody that needs to wear reading glasses, I need I can see a deer at a thousand meters, but I can't see to read the newspaper. So when I'm making adjustments on a scope, I want to be able to see the dials and I want large enough dials to be able to maneuver. Very easily adjustable, illuminated reticle on it. You need confidence in your kit confidence in your rifle and confidence in your scope and that's why I'm using it. I changed over uh, on the Creedmoor rifle about 10, probably about 10 months ago now, tested some of the non-toxic ammunition. I tended to use 120 grains in my 6.5 calibers anyway with lead and the, 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 the toxic ammunition and I've gone to 120 grain on the non-toxic which I tried of all of the ammunition I used, and I found it very, very accurate across the board, to be honest with you. The S&B, again, um, S&B ammunition I'm familiar with from my early shotgun shooting days, when I used to use S&B cartridges, which were very good, but this is the S&B Blue, 120 grain, um, and that's the ammunition I'm using. Two things about this that struck me straight away, the accuracy straight out of the box. I have had absolutely no issues with deer running uh, or not responding to, to shot how I'd expect them to, to respond. It took me a little while to get used to it, is it's a definite different noise. So when the round it's the deer, uh, hard to describe, but it's, it's, a different, it's a different sort of noise. So you've kind of got to tune into that because one of the things I see a lot of deer shot and you can kind of hear from lead, which I've been used to for 20 years, the noise it makes gives them an indication of where the bullet's gone, or the round's gone. You've kind of got to re-educate yourself with this because it doesn't make the same sort of noise. I've found um, exit wounds as well. A lot of people, a lot of stuff I'm reading saying they weren't seeing exit, and a lot of exit damage from, from the expanding element of the non-toxics. I've not found that, to be honest. I've found uh, a good exit. Maybe not quite the same as lead, but they're really insignificant as far as I can see in terms of actually the humane uh, element of dispatching a deer. So that um, is, is the rig that I'm currently using um, most of the time. So Hanel combined with the Leopold and then the Essen Blue ammunition, which works for me. People will say, ah, oh, yeah, but people send you this product to test or they give you these rifles to use. Well, they do, but I'm a professional. I take people out, I guide people. I don't use crap kit. I don't use crap equipment. It's absolutely pointless. It's like the, the, the clothing. What's the point of me being out endorsing a product when I'm coming back in after a morning like this, pissed wet through and uncomfortable. Pointless, same with the rig. If I use equipment, it works and it's good and it certainly works for me.